morning guys there we are after work in beautiful Malaysia again lots of traffic today I think traffic is just luck of the draw around here as long as it keeps moving I don't mind okay nightmare travel story of the day Cathay Pacific again flying from uh, Hong Kong to uh, Los Angeles LAX I'm on my way to America once again to go to work so uh, I get on the plane in Hong Kong and uh, you know you board normal everything is fine but after they boarded they closed the doors and we just sat there at the gate for like two hours just waiting no announcement no nothing just sitting there no idea why we couldn't leave they never ever said it's already a 12 hour flight now we're sitting there for uh, two hours just about two hours anyway so we finally take off and they make up a little bit of time you know the, normally the pilots have a, a little bit of leeway in there for do some catch up especially on a long haul flight like that speed up a little bit make up some time but then when we finally get to LA there's no gate for us or we can't land for I, I assume it was no gate we couldn't land so then we're in a holding pattern above the Pacific Ocean just off the coast going around and around in circles and we finally land 12 hour flight was then a 14 hour flight I've already missed my connection so I'm not in any rush really so I gotta find another flight so I go through uh, immigration this guy's right on my bumper here I go through immigration and you know being Canadian I don't need a visa to go into the States but I'm working so I and I have a work visa so I need a stamp in my passport to uh, basically to activate the work visa just in case I got stopped uh, I got checked uh, anywhere along the line so I, I go in there and the guy looked at me and looked at my uh, visa and he pointed about 30 feet down the road go stand on that yellow line so I did that and I'm standing there for like an hour. Oh, I'm pissed now. It's already been a god awful day. And now I'm just standing there for no reason. And finally, this guy comes out of the back room, takes my passport, looks at it. He said, You're Canadian, you don't need a visa. I said, Yeah, I realize that, but I'm here to go to work. And I have a work visa. So I need an entry stamp. Oh, why didn't you say then? just walks over to the counter stamps my passport and gives it to me and sends me on my way I stood there for an hour for no reason because the guy couldn't be bothered to uh, think you know all I needed was a regular old entry stamp nothing special a lot of big ships come in down there so I finally get admitted into the country a little upset a lot upset I knew I missed my connecting flight is long gone so I go to the to the counter I can't remember what airline it was and uh, they said oh if you were here half an hour ago we could have got you on this flight but no you missed that one too so now I missed two connecting flights I gotta wait like three hours for the next one so because of this stupid immigration cop I missed another connecting flight so then by the time I get to wherever I was going I can't remember my pickup is not there because you know I was supposed to have been there six hours or something before that no one knows where the hell I am yeah fun stuff. 
<laughs> oh my god. This is working and traveling for a living thing. Yeah, it sucks. It's a very nice car coming there. Alright guys. Wow, beautiful day here. Talk to you guys later.